Welcome everyone to Martha Bakes. No cakes are more adorned than wedding cakes, and today, wedding cake designer par excellence, Ron Ben Israel, is here to share his expertise for creating breathtaking sugar paste flowers. It's so nice to have you back in the studio, I'm so Ron. excited to work yeah. with you again. I thought it would be fun for our viewer, and mm -hmm. educational too, to uh, show how you create an edible peony. So I made those. I bought plastic sheets and I put acetate. Yes. So they keep the sugar paste moist. Yes. And also you can roll out nicely in, in exactly. between. Exactly. And I just put a little shortening. Okay. And then you can cut variety of sizes. There's a set of 12, so I can make tiny peonies and giant flowers. And I'm going to cut little notches because typically the peony has an uneven edge. Then if you can notch them. We jumped ahead here and now we insert a cloth covered wire in the center of each petal, about a third of the height. Once they're wired, we move on to the next step. This is two screws inserted into a wooden dowel, and these are ball bearings that are sorted. And by soft pressure, we'll just thin the edges. I actually run it like a pen. And sometimes you press too hard and the whole thing rips, but we can remake. <laughs> Okay, well, they're pretty when they right? get like that. Yeah. So now you can center it in the middle of the silicone press. This I sculpted on clay and then made the two halves. So we will get the imprints. Oh, how gorgeous. Right? Oh. I'll flex it out. Look. Oh, I did it. But wait, there's more. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to take the small part and roll it back a little bit along the ridges to cup the edges. Oh, this is so pretty. And then? So we have petals that have rested for 24 hours. Oh, yes. So this is one set. And we'll touch them up with powdered food colors to get light and shadow. Okay. So we have pink, which is very strong, and a little cornstarch. So we can put a little cornstarch on the brush and then a little bit of pink. This is an exciting process of figuring out where do I want the shadow to be. I usually start with the edges. And then the color that falls, I just brush in between the grooves. So it's a little bit like makeup for sugar. Uh -huh. Now we're going to tie the petal into a completed flower. So 14 petals for an average size peony. Uh, there's also the centers. So this I learned actually from you. <laughs> how to make a pom-pom. So we take a thread, cotton thread, and wrap it around two fingers, cut it up, and we have those little pom-poms. But they look like the natural... Oh, stamens, stamens, yeah. Stamens. Then I moisten them a little bit with the egg whites or sugar glue and dip them into the cornmeal that has a little extra yellow pigments. And I also made a few of those... They're called pods, I think that contain the stamens. Oh, yes. And floral tape, which is non-toxic. So I'm tying them one by one, just like silk flowers are made. Mm. And the idea is to hide the, the wire and wrap it well so nothing shows. And there is a steamer mm. that will help us set all the colors. The steaming will give us a natural sheen and the flower will come to oh, life. Look what it does. You see, immediately, oh. just the oh, right amount, yeah. give it the glow. That is perfect. So what you call this beautiful cascading? Elongated grouping. Elongated grouping by Ron Ben Israel. <laughs> and Martha Stewart. Okay. Well, I'm happy to learn something new today. It's uh, very exciting. And thank you very much for showing us the art of flower making. Thank you, Martha. Thank you. And thank you all at home for watching. We'll see you next time on Martha Bakes.